Welcome back from a three-day holiday. I weekend. hope you had a good one, brother. I did lots of sleep, but uh, you know who, <laughs> who didn't get a lot of sleep? What's the scoops with uh, our first responders and all the action they had this weekend? What's the scoops? Well, there was a stabbing in Kailua, multiple shootings here on O'ahu, and of course, yeah. we just mentioned the wildland fire in Ma'ili. You know, the fire was reported on Sunday, and the good news is, as of Monday morning, the fire has been fully contained. An investigation has been initiate, initiated to determine the fire's origin and cause, and a comprehensive damage assessment will be conducted to determine the full extent of the loss. And, you know, we're going to say again, mahalo to our first responders from the city, state, and federal levels. They all came together in, in that showing of unity to, yep. to make sure that the, our ohana on the west side were safe. And, and you you know, big mahalo out to the community members as well for following those evacuation orders. A lot of times, you know, we think, eh, not really going to affect me. <laughs> you know, like when the fire alarm goes off in the building, you're like, mm, should I really go? Nah, I keep working, you yeah. know. I mean, yeah, I, I think... I think with everything that transpired two years ago yeah. um, in, in Maui, people are a little bit more um, aware. Mm -hmm. We are more um, just mindful yeah. about these things, especially with a, such a dry summer we're, we're experiencing. Yeah, And just like Lahaina, of course, the west side here on Oahu, just kind of like that bottleneck mm -hmm. and that one way in, one way out. Unless they open Lua Lua Le, uh, Road, it's really that one access in and out. So thank you again to our Ohana yes. from the west side for... Um, following instructions. That was awesome. That's right. And can we turn our attentions to another place that has gone through some, I'm just, some terrible weather. Um, we're talking about Texas, where we send our aloha to families of the victims of the flooding in Texas that killed more than 80 people over the holiday weekend. That was devastating to watch. Uh, most of the fatalities were in Kerr County, including children at mm. summer camps. Take a look at how within minutes, the waters of the Guadalupe River rose and very, very rapidly. Look at this. I think it was like within five minutes, the river was just, it just you know, just expanded and just, oh my gosh, look how quick moving those waters are, sis. Yep, and, and you know, it, I, I did read some accounts where it was 25 feet within 45 minutes. Mm. So, I mean, and so that's higher than a, a, a regular house. Yeah. So you couldn't climb up in your roof and get away from it. You know, the situation may have become a lot more dangerous with this high waters very, moving very, very fast. Yeah. That's what a flash flood is. It just comes in, pew. You yeah, and that, that's why um, a, lot, a lot of times we hear from, you know, the, the authorities to not cross those rivers because it can happen so, so quickly fast. that it can carry your, your vehicle and, you know, in some cases, homes and people very rapidly. So, yeah. uh, again, aloha to our ohana over there in, uh, in the, the Lone Star State. If we, if we can stay there for a minute mm -hmm. for another story where the U.S. government is preparing to breed billions, with a B, billions of flies to combat flesh-eating maggots over southern Texas and Mexico. What's the scoops? Well, it's being done to protect the U.S. from the flesh-eating larva of the New World screwworm fly. That's a bug that could really devastate the beef industry, decimate wildlife, and even kill household pets. And we kind of stuck to just still shots of the maggots and not making them squirm and move. Because I know <laughs> people like me, we get, you know, weak stomach. I'll be like, ugh. I know, but, but the plan does involve sterilizing adult male flies with the radiation before releasing them. Then they mate with with females in the wild and the eggs laid by the females aren't fertilized and don't hatch. Um, and this is a, a, a little bit of a, a beef that these that is happening between the beef industry as well as, you know, this flesh eating maggots. That's so crazy. And it's almost like what they're trying to do here with the mosquitoes. They're trying to um, send out those genetically modified mosquitoes and who are sterilized. And But I understand this has actually worked in that area before, yeah? Yeah, um, it's been proven effective, uh, more effective than spraying, you know, at the, the pesticides, which could be, you know, the chemicals. Which kills everything. Yeah, right? and, and it's more um, environmentally friendly. Yeah. And it also eradicated some of those uh, flies, I believe it was in, in Panama oh, wow. some decades ago. So we'll see what happens, hopefully, because, I mean, you know, I mean, again, the beef industry, oh, this is kind of scary. Yeah, um, poor Texas, so they're getting it hard. Yeah, so our, definitely oh, our prayers to our Ohana in the Lone Star State. All yes. right, so what's the scoops with you? What do you think about all of this? Uh, let us know by, uh, you know, sounding off, because we definitely want to hear from you. In fact, we've been getting more and more comments on our YouTube page. Yes, we have, and we appreciate it. We read them all. Let us know by sending an email at islandlifelive at kitv.com or post a comment directly to this video on your YouTube page. All you need to do is just search out KITV.